We are going to have a look at what is the difference between turning and coiling in your golf swing and how this simple concept can then transfer to getting more power and more club head speed. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. The idea around this channel is we make content to help you lower your scores and increase your enjoyment level in this great game. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. It's free of charge and it'll mean that you don't miss out on any videos and any content coming forward. I nearly always at the end ask for people to make comments on videos that they'd like going forwards. Make a comment below on what content you'd like to help you with your game if there's any particular areas that you're struggling with or concepts that you'd like clearing up, you know, making crystal clear on how to apply it. Anyway, on to today's video, what we are looking at is the difference between turning your hips and creating coil. What is the actual difference with that? So what we're talking about is that when you turn in your hips, I get loads of people who will come in and they say, you know, they'll say, right, yep, I've been working at my hip turn and they just go like this. And the hips have moved and they, yes, they've turned, but they've not created any power whatsoever because at the same time as just turning the hips like this, you see now how the legs have gone quite loose and a bit of a buckle. And what I also see a lot of players doing is that instead of loading the pelvis and creating some tension in the glutes, as they turn, the pelvis almost works underneath themselves. So it's going up in this direction. So once I've got it going up here, it means I'm not creating any coil. So what we're going to look at is that how you can create this coil through the floor. I'm going to use one little bit of terminology as a disassociation. So what that means is how the one body part can move in an almost separate direction to another. What we're talking about here is how the leg stays stable whilst you load um, through, the, through the pelvis, which will actually create some coil into the floor. So what we're thinking here is that once you've got this um, setup position here, you're going to let that right side of the pelvis load and you're gonna feel some coil and feel some power built up into this right glute here. So that's got power built into it. And it's, a, it's like I'm trying to corkscrew into the floor. So it's like, if you imagine both feet, particularly the right, feels like it's going and grabbing the floor. I'm twisting into the floor and I'm trying to lower myself. So I'm gonna be going back here and I'm trying to grab the floor. And if, if you imagine if this was, if I was on a flat surface here with no shoes on, it's almost like my foot's going to be trying to spin. What I'm almost trying to imagine is that through the grass here with my spike, I'm trying to almost tear the grass up, okay? Get my spikes digging in and I'm coiling like this. You see how the foot's resisting it, okay? And this is what's going to get that power into the floor. So this is what a coil is. Now the disassociation bit is going to be making sure that as I create this coil here, I feel the tension. I try and keep as close to the same gap between my legs as I possibly can. Don't want this collapsing in because that will lose all of the tension that I'm able to build up. What this will then do is as long as you are creating the coil through that lower half, you should be able to get a massive shoulder turn and make sure that will allow you to complete your arm swing. So the idea is going to be that we're going to try and screw through the floor, create the power, which will then we are creating energy. So we've got the backswing. It's not just the backswing is not just there to put the club. The backswing is there to create some potential energy. Then you're able to store it halfway down and then release it through impact. So that's why that backswing is so important. And it's so misunderstood by people that they think I've turned, but they don't feel like there's any tension in their body. And then they try and create power and they do it through all the wrong parts of the body. So the sequence of the downswing goes miles off because they haven't created the right coil going back. So let's give this a bit of a go. The idea is going to feel like I'm going to really get that load through that right side of the glute. Feel like I'm coiling through the floor as much as I physically can. So I just get a little rehearsal. It feels like I'm grabbing into the shot and I'm really trying to load that lower body keep that, and keep the legs very stable. Key is there, once you've got that coil going through that lower body, that's going to make you be able to create the power on the way through. I very much felt that there, when you create that power through the floor, it allows you to unwind a lot, lot faster through the shot. 
It's key that you understand this, guys, because it makes such a difference to your ball striking and also to how far you're going to be able to hit the ball. So make sure that when you have got that lower body turning and the stability in the legs that you're creating tension, because that is going to be key to then transferring that straight the way through to club head speed. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching and talk with you again really soon.